Hey everybody, Sean here from Sean's RC Adventures. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Keller Body Cockpit. This is one of my favorite cockpits to use in my rigs and I'll show you why. Okay, let's get this open. We'll see what we've got. I did get this guys from RC World US, really great hobby store, if you should check them out, um, www.rcworldus, really great price. So anyway guys, here is the manual, the first thing we come across, gives you all your parts trees, what everything you need to do. Um, there's a good bit of building in this cockpit. It is very nice. It's very well detailed manual. I will give them that. They also give you, which is good. Like so, now this is in the extra parts. So th they give you one instruction manual, but it gives you for all the parts. So this would be if you got the wind up windows, the different wiper blades. And whatever part numbers like you need for a light kit or anything like that. So it is really, really cool, guys. That even though it's one, it's one instruction book, but it's a different parts manual for killer body options that they give you, which is really cool. What do we got here? Cockpit, cotton position. Okay, so this guys. I don't know if you can see that. This is for the cutting position of your gearbox, which is good. They give you this for an SCX10, a TRX4, HPI, whatever you use the templates that they give you here and you cut the pan off the, off the actual cockpit, you cut the pan so the motor just fits perfectly right out over, which is good. They don't have to do that, you know? They could let you just try and figure it out yourself. So this is all the steering wheels, um, handbrake, levers, um, gear sticks, everything you need for there. I will lay this out as we go along. This bag I will open in a minute for you. One of the reasons I really love this cockpit. So this guys. As you can see, they actually give you two dashboards. So they give you a dashboard for left hand drive, and they give you the dashboard for the right hand drive, which is a really cool option because then, even though you only use the seats for one rig, you actually have two options. So one of your other rigs can get a dashboard as well. And then this is actually the bottom part of your dashboard and this is your floor pan uh, so this floor pan is what this little bag is for um, on some of this so this one is designed to fit an SEX 10 2 it looks like but if you were using a TRX 4 or something like that you would use that and you'd have to just make another couple of little cuts in the floor pan which is which is really easy to do it's not that hard of plastic so this is your seats this is the your seats your headrests for the seats that's uh, the back of the seats oh so this is one complete seat so that's the back of the seat top of the seat and the headrest the same as this back of the seat top of the seat and the headrest one cool thing with this piece here, the seats in these cockpits can actually slide back and forward so that you can um, you can have a different size of figure in driving it, which is pretty cool. This is a center console, it's the lid for the little center console box that opens. And then these are your 
actual these go over the seats let me open this way really quick so this guys this is, goes over your headrest this is just a rubber piece and then these nice rubbers go right out over your seats as well so you can actually paint these or you can paint the actual plastic seats you don't have to use these I like to use them it just gives it a more realistic look when you do paint it but this bag guys this is the bag that really makes me buy these cockpits um, I have used it before in my TRX4 um, this is where this is the cockpit I use for the light up dice board on the TRX4 if I can get this open for you so this is just all your hardware for the seats and for everything else these guys are really cool though this is your steer your clocks and then on this side you have the radio which is see-through and I'll show you what I mean so here is all your decals for the dashboard as well but this is the cool part guys they give you so the way they give you both dashboards for right hand and for left hand they also give you two sets of lights so they give you a set of lights for the right hand and a set of lights for the left hand so even when you fully assemble one of these you're still left with a set of lights and an actual piece of a dice board so this is why I like buying these because then you can modify the extra dice board to fit in one of your other rigs so technically you're getting two lit up dice boards for one cockpit again guys I did get this from www.rcworld.us you can also follow them on Instagram at RC World Inc. I um, hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.